Okay, so you're ready to make that game idea a reality. Always an exciting time. It is. But wow, so many tools out there. Where do you even begin? Yeah, it could be a bit overwhelming, that's for sure. Especially if you're, you know, just starting out. Totally. That's why we're doing this deep dive today. You've given us some info on App Game Kit and Game Guru, and they both seem really cool. Yeah, they each have their own strengths for sure. So let's break it down and see which one might be the best fit for someone like you listening. Sounds good. Yeah. What do we have to work with here? Well, you've been looking into both of these and, well, the biggest difference seems to be coding, right? Absolutely, yeah. App Game Kit, you're going to be writing code. Game Guru, Man Max A, not so much. Right. So with App Game Kit, it's not like they're hiding from the code or anything, but they seem to want to make it more approachable, you know? Yeah, for sure. And that's a good thing. Their website talks about being beginner friendly, but they also say they'll teach you to code. So I guess it's finding that middle ground, right? Like you want to learn, but you don't want to be thrown to the wolves. Exactly. Yeah. And what's really interesting is they give you options. You can use C Sharp, Python, even basic. It's pretty flexible. Wow. So even if you've like tinkered with Python a bit, you can use that. Yeah, exactly. Or try out a few, see what clicks. It's like having the right tool for the right job. But in this case, you get a whole toolbox. And you know, you mentioned wanting to get your game on different platforms eventually, like phones, computers, that sort of thing. App Game Kit seems like they're aiming for that. Yeah, they definitely are. And that's huge, right? I mean, reaching more players is always a good thing. Totally. But got to be honest, that can get complicated fast, making a game work on everything. For sure. And that's something App Game Kit tries to handle. You code once, it works hopefully everywhere. Okay, so that's App Game Kit in a nutshell code but approachable and they help you get your game out there right now game guru max totally different vibe yeah they seem to be going for a totally different kind of creator it's all visual drag drop you're off to the races your digital legos exactly and they give you a ton of bricks to play with over 1200 pre-made assets they say whoa okay so that's like what the images the sounds the 3d models all of that ready to go saves a ton of time if you're eager to just start designing and making the game itself especially for someone who might not be like an artist you know having yeah. that head start could be a game changer totally hmm. no need to spend weeks drawing every pixel or modeling every rock you can just focus on making the game fun and interesting exactly that's their whole thing right dream yeah. it build it play it which by the way you mentioned you like to learn efficiently yeah i do game guru max seems like it'd be right up your alley then jump in figure it out as you go definitely appealing it's like baking. Sometimes you want to bake from scratch. Other times you just want to use the cake mix, you know? Uh-huh. I, I hear that. So we've talked about the approaches, right? App Game Kit, you're getting into the code. Game Guru Max, it's all visual. Right. But what happens when you, you know, hit a wall? Yeah, because that's going to happen. Because it will. Even with the, like, the easiest tools, Game Dev, it's tricky. Oh, absolutely. It's a whole process. So support, right, yeah. community, that kind of thing. Super important, especially when you're starting out. We took a look at the forums for both of these, and honestly, it's interesting how different they are. Oh, yeah. App Game Kits forums. Busy. That's that. always a good sign. It is, although they're kind of split, you know? Oh, how so? Between App Game Kit Studio, that's the new one, and then App Game Kit Classic. Ah, so they've got their, like, legacy users still hanging around. Right, and honestly... That tells me something. Like, they've been around long enough to have a classic version. That means people stuck with it. It's true. That usually means there's a good foundation there. So if you're all about efficiency, like you said you are. Always. More experienced users, that usually means more problem solved, more workarounds, all that good stuff. Makes sense. Yeah. So what about Game Guru Maxin? What's the forum scene like over there? It's a different vibe. Quieter. Less about, like, my code's broken, help. And more, check out what I made. Interesting. So less troubleshooting, more showcasing. Yeah, which honestly kind of tracks with their whole philosophy, you know? Dream it, build it, play it. They want you to be up and running quickly. Exactly. Lots of tutorials, lots of demo games to pick apart. It's more like they give you the path, you follow it. That's good for some people. A more structured approach can be really helpful when you're first starting. Totally. Like some people learn to paint by following Bob Ross, yeah. right? Others, they're more Jackson Pollock, just go wild. Haha, -ha. perfect analogy. Yeah. So we've got a very structured approach with Game Guru Max and a little more open ended with App Game Kit. And here's another thing, and this one threw me for a loop App Game Kit Classic, retired, 
but still available. Really? Why okay. keep that around? That's what I thought. It's like, why keep the instruction manual for your old flip phone? You know? Maybe they're onto something. Remember you mentioned liking to understand things in depth. Yeah, I do. I want to know how things work. Sometimes. Older versions. They're simpler. Like less stuff to get in the way of the core concepts? Exactly. So if you really want to get into the nitty gritty, that might be a good place to start. It's like learning a basic recipe before you get fancy with it. I like it. So it seems like App Game Kit gives you a bit more of that deep dive experience. Mm -hmm. But what about actually making the game? What did you think about those mini kits Game Guru Max keeps mentioning? Oh, yeah, those. And all the themed asset packs in their news. Seems like they're really pushing those. It seems like they're trying to appeal to a certain kind of creator. Someone who likes a little direction, maybe. It makes sense, right? It's like, if you know you want to write a detective novel, you kind of already have a framework. Exactly. Doesn't mean you can't break the mold later, but it gives you a place to start. So maybe those pre-made kits, they're like that. A jumping off point. Makes sense to me. And it speaks to their whole thing, right? Yeah. Fast, accessible, fun. That's Game Guru Max in a nutshell. All right, so we've looked at both of these tools, App Game Kit and Game Guru Max, broken down their approaches. Yeah, dug into the forums, all that good stuff. But now it comes down to, well, which one's right for you? The million dollar question. Right. So think about what's important to you right now as you're listening. Like, do you want to be playing your game like today? Because Game Guru Max, with that drag and drop and all the assets they give you, you're going to be up and running in no time. For sure. But maybe it's not about speed, right? Maybe you're in this for the long haul. You want to learn the code, even if it takes a bit longer. Yeah, because App Game Kit, they don't shy away from that, do they? Yeah. And their forums, all those folks who can help you out when you get stuck. It's a good community to be part of from what we've seen. And you did say you like to really get into the how and why of things. Always. So maybe App Game Kit's more up your alley in that regard. Gives you that deeper dive. Could be. Now, another thing to think about, what kind of game are we making here? What's the dream? Ooh, yeah, good point. Fast-paced action, big, sprawling RPG, something totally different. Sometimes just thinking about the feel of the game, you know, which tool kind of clicks with that. That's your debt talking. Sometimes you got to trust that, though, honestly. What's that? Best way to know for sure is to try them out. Oh, for sure. Experiment. Both App Game Kit and Game Guru Max, they've got trials. Yep, take them for a spin. Kick the tires a bit. See what feels right, what sparks that creative energy. Exactly. Because even if a tool ends up not being the perfect fit, you learn something from the process. Totally. And hey, here's a thought, right? What if you did both? Ooh, now we're talking. Start with Game Guru Max. Get that prototype up and running. Get a feel for it. Then... Then you've got the foundation. Exactly. And then you dive into App Game Kit, flesh it out, really make it yours with the code. The best of both worlds. There you go. Who knows? Maybe that's the secret sauce, right? The hybrid approach. Either way, the important thing is you're making the game. Yeah. And that's what matters. So go forth and create.